Hi, welcome to Disney to Universal. My name's Nicola and as my YouTube channel name suggests, I love everything to do with the Disney and Universal parks all around the world and all of the fandoms that come along with them. Today's video, we are going to be looking at the Harry Potter Film Wizardry Updated Edition book. We are going to be looking at all of the pullouts that you get and also a quick review on the book and what I generally think of it. I would say the outside of this book is quite nice. Uh, there's the spine. The back has the same kind of idea as the front. Um, this bit is matte, this bit is glossy. As for the front, matte and then glossy. So it does have a nice kind of feel and look. A little bit of this is raised as well. This book costs £12 from Asda. You can still purchase this inside the Asda stores, but they no longer sell it online at the moment of filming this video. Otherwise, this book costs £30 or you can get it online where you can get it from the likes of Amazon for £22 and a few other places. And obviously some people might be selling it on eBay for a bit cheaper again. As you can see here, I've marked some pages. Um, I've only had a little peek at this so far because I wanted to be surprised with the inserts that come with this as well. So I haven't actually looked at those yet. I've just marked the pages where they are and a few other pages. So these all mark the inserts or pullouts or uh, fold out pages. These mark just a few things to show you. Okay, so I'm just gonna generally show you how this looks at the beginning. Very nice, pretty. Then you get to the contents page. I love the style, the design, the colors. It's all very, very interesting to a normal contents page. I marked this one specifically for two reasons. I'll give you a close up. One was to show this picture here. I just wanted to show you how close they actually got in filming. I just think that was really interesting how intimate this situation is. The other is to show you this Emma Watson picture here. So here's Emma Watson and here are some of her stand-ins. I just thought that was really interesting. I'd never actually seen anything like that before. Okay, let's get to the next. Okay, this one again was right near the front, but again, I just wanted to show you how beautiful, uh, it's obviously in the style of the Marauders map, so for the colours and the design, just absolutely beautiful, just beautiful, beautiful things to look at and enjoy. This section I marked out because I like it because it's from the behind the scenes people, not the actors themselves. Um, so it gives you a bit more in-depth backstage information. But this specifically here, this picture, that was a drawing that JK Rowling did to show what Hogwarts was going to generally look like. So that was fascinating, I love that. Now we come to the first pullout piece. So it's this, Hogwarts letter. You can actually take this off. So I'm gonna do that now and we can have a look at it. Here's the letter, open it up. And here you go, here's a little replica of Harry's letter. So that's cute, doesn't have the, um, so it doesn't have the list of things to bring, like, you know, books and uniform, all that kind of stuff. So that's pull out one. And if you take it out completely like I did, it's just left this little mark here, which I don't mind. Or you could have just sliced down there. Um, or you can slice down there after you've taken it off and then reattach it if you wanted to cover up that mark. So this next part is a fold out with a pull out piece as well. So you can see it is Diagon Alley themed. And this side pulls out also. Very, very big and long. Fun to look at. Okay, so the next little pullout you can see here is a little leaflet or a brochure 
for Borgen and Burks. Love this. I mean, the, the detail is really cool. Love Borgen and Burks as well, the shop. Okay, so this is what it looks like inside. Really cool. Showing off some of the items that I guess they're going to be selling. So, yeah, that's pullout number two. Really like that. The next piece is another pullout. So, take that out now. Actually, most of them aren't leaving any residue or tearing or anything of the pages. It was just that first one so far. Um, okay, so we have a little advanced potion making leaflet, but designed to look like a little replica book. Here's the back. Okay, this, are these stickers? Oh, wow, they're stickers. Well, that's cool. So you get this big label. Um, and you get these potion bottles else oh nice a load more potion labels okay they're really cool really nice that's pull out number three okay this is another section i wanted to show you so this is a um, again these kind of confidential from behind the scenes uh, people really like these sections um but i love seeing like concept art you get quite a lot in this book as well so just fun to point those out again this particular section was great for the concept art has quite a lot on here on this page specifically okay next we come to another pull out Okay, so it's like these little um, honey jukes boxes you could make for some of the sweets. And goes that way more. Okay, that's really fun. And then this was on the back. Almost wish they hadn't done that though because I really love this as a poster. Um, but these are really cool too. Hmm. Wish this these were both like separate pieces. But uh yeah, another pull out. Is that four? Pull out four. Next we come to the next pull out. Okay, so it looks like it is a Quidditch World Cup program. So there's the front and there's the back. That's really cool. Um, the way things have been designed are just like amazing. Let's have a look. Hmm, that's fun showing you the layout of the Quidditch teams and some information and then some more advertisements. Okay, that's really fun, really like that. That's pull out number five. This was just to show you one of the character pages that they do. So this one's all about Rita Skeeter, who is a character I love. Here is the all-time number one book I would love to own. That was real. If it was a real book, I would have that in a heartbeat. Um, but yeah, beautiful pages on her there and some information. More concept art for how her costumes and look was. This one was to show you again the gorgeous concept art. Again, just really cool. This one is to show you a fold out. So it's a fold out, but not a pull out. 
and this is all about the black family tapestry really big but it's not offering anything there i would have loved if they'd have done something like this as a pull out or just even a postcard of like the black family tapestry or something cool here is the next pull out on the dolores umbridge page another character i love um weirdly you you love to hate her but she's a cool character and that's behind hers okay so this next pull out is a packet of i'm guessing proclamation posters definitely isn't just one in here but you can see it comes in um comes in like tracing paper kind of material okay let's open this up okay so yeah so it's a few of the proclamations so you get one two three four so they're really cool because you can put those into a frame or on pin boards or onto like a notice board or just poster them up on walls very very cool inserts to get and look four of them as well so pull out number six and it's on to pull out number seven this, again you can see it's in tracing paper so i can see that it's going to be a miniature marauders map obviously not that miniature but smaller than the official sized one so let's open this one up Here you go. Ooh. Don't know whether this is supposed to, I don't think this is supposed to be loose, but also there's this piece of sticky tape here. So maybe that's just not being assembled properly. So it opens up very big. And then is plain on the back. So that's fun. That's a cute little item to have as well. Cause the, like I say, the full size one is really, really big and hard to handle. So great for prop photos, things like that. And easier to go onto a shelf for displaying. This is pull out number seven. Next, I've got to show you the next pull out. And as you can see, this is the Weasley Wizard Wheezes. Um, so the Weasley Twins. So the pull out looks again like a bit of a brochure or leaflet. Uh, super fun double spread page here. Lots of cool stuff. So here we go. There's the front. There is the back. All right, this is right up my street. Love the graphics on these. Amazing, showing a lot of the Mina Lima designed products for the store and throughout the movies. Yeah, amazing graphics there. That's gonna be a fun look through. This is pull out number eight. This is just to show you another kind of section that they have. Um, love anything to do with the Tale of Three Brothers or the Deathly Hallows. Um, so this, this kind of page was like great to see in the book. And the pictures and the illustrations, yes. And then the last thing is right in the back of the book and it is another pull out. Um, not too sure if this one's going to completely come away to have a look or whether it's best to stay on. This one doesn't seem like it really wants to be pulled out. So I'm going to leave it in. I feel like I'm going to tear it. Um, so we'll just open it and see what's inside. This one I'm very, very intrigued about though, because it is all about the Ministry of Magic, which there is not enough merchandise for them um so this is cool let's see what's in here oh 
Oh, it's a few things. Let's make sure I've got everything out. I mean, for me, I will try and see if I can get this envelope off because I absolutely love the envelope just on its own. Uh, the, the seal, the colours, the shape of the top piece of the envelope, just everything's working for me there. So I'd love to get that out and off if possible. Let's have a look at the things that have come inside. So this looks like a architect's drawing of Hogwarts Castle, which is looks like it's quite big. Yeah, wow, that's cool. So as you can see there, very, very cool item. Okay, that's going to be fun to really look into all the bits and pieces there. All right. Okay, love that. Okay, what is this? It's like a poster. Okay, so it's a Ministry of Magic poster. Again, this is a long piece. Get it all in the frame. Okay. Ministry of Magic advice, the wizarding community is currently under threat from an organisation calling itself the Death Eaters. Be vigilant. And if you have any information concerning Death Eaters, please contact your nearest Aura office. So, and then it's got down here, reward. The Ministry of Magic is offering a reward of 1,000 galleons for information leading directly to the arrest of any Death Eater. And then it's got printed by the Ministry Press, Diagon Alley, England, and then the registration number and things. And then right in the top corner here as well, it's got a signature saying the Director of the Aura Office Investigation Department, and then the investigation number as well. So really cool details there. Again, just would look cool on a wall. Very happy with that. And the third and final piece, so it says Film Wizardry Photo Album. It looks like an exercise book or something style. Okay. So it just looks like it's a collection of more photos from a movie. I don't know if these are duplicates to the ones that are inside the book already. I'm more impressed with the outside than the inside. I think they could have done it. I think this would have been better for me if it had like a um, a big gold frame and then like a portrait of one of the characters, like the portraits that hang on the walls within the Hogwarts castle, something along those lines. That would have been a really cool idea. Um, but still, it's an extra freebie. In total, you're getting 11 pullouts from this book. I paid £12, so in, in respect to the £12, I think this is an absolute no-brainer. Get to Asda and find one of these because this is a bargain. I feel like this book is a really great size. It's not too big, it's not too thick, and it's not too heavy to pick up and hold. I think the front cover is relevant to what this book is really about. It's kind of like a little taster or a glimpse, a little section about um, certain characters, parts of the movie, things like that. So I think the cover actually works well to describe what's inside. And also you don't need to uh, read this book in any kind of order. You could literally just pick it up and go straight to this section then the next time you look at it you could go straight to this section so love that about it there's definitely no in-depth look at any specific character or part of the movie or anything like that uh, they are just little glimpses little bits of information definitely gets you wanting more in a good way um, because you know you might want to delve all into a certain character or parts of a movie or the effects or something like that, which is great as a Harry Potter fan, you're always wanting more, more, more. 
I am also definitely wanting, like I say, more information, more secrets, um, more photos, more pictures, uh, more concept art, more pullouts, more freebies. But I mean, there is definitely no way you could put everything all into one book anyways. There's just so, so much. It's just impossible to put it all into one. You would literally have to split it up into multiple books it, in different categories. It just <laughs> would need to be that way. So, and as a Harry Potter fan, anyways, more is better. I love the way that this book um, is designed inside, the way it looks. It's, it's really a killer, beautifully designed, gorgeous, interesting to look at book. And on top of it, you're getting the bonus free pull-out items that you could decorate and uh, display just photo props anything you want to do with those I think that's just a bonus I feel like this is definitely a book you could buy any Harry Potter fan um, if they are a crazy Harry Potter fan like myself you could literally buy them any book to do with Harry Potter and they are going to be over the moon chuffed with this I think is an absolute success I think even if you pay the full amount, it is worth it. Um, but if you can get it cheaper, then like I say, go to Asda, £12 or Amazon and online, 22 ish um, But yeah, totally recommend this book. It's a brilliant little, it's, it's a brilliant look into so many different aspects and you get to learn a few more bits of information, see stuff you haven't seen before love them love any kind of harry potter book but yeah definitely i can recommend getting this book with the free pullouts if you are enjoying this video i'd love it if you could give me a thumbs up to let me know that i am doing a good job so what do you think to this book do you like it will you be buying it are you enjoying the fact that it comes with free pullouts let me know down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you. If you are liking what I'm doing, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel. I like to try and mix up all the different kinds of videos I do. So if you are enjoying this video, please subscribe. That's everything for today. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and see you next time.